Yeah, well, what's up? I'm Randy from the band Red, and uh, we got a crazy tour story for you. We didn't always tour in a uh, in a tour bus. Uh, we were in our last van trip we'd ever taken. We'd been in a van for two years, and uh, we were ready to make the upgrade to the bus. We were selling our van and trailer. We were out. Our second year on tour, we were on tour of Seether. We were coming in from a show from South Carolina. Pulling into Nashville, rush hour traffic, 6.30 in the morning, we hit a guardrail, 75 miles an hour head on. Uh, the paramedics showed up and they wanted to know where all the dead bodies were and our gear got destroyed, it's concussions, but we had contusions, bl blood in our urine. Our tour manager got ejected from the vehicle, peeled the entire side of the van off like a tuna can, and uh, we said actually nobody's dead, and uh, they couldn't believe it, they'd seen accidents that were not as extreme as ours was, and, and there were dead people everywhere. That was something we'll never forget, and uh, I think it it uh, actually fueled the writing process for our second record. Um, those aren't the kind of things that, uh, that, you, uh, that you come out of not changed forever. We, we still have road cases on the road that are still banged up we from that accident. More. Huge shift of energy <laughs> for our band. But um, yeah, we got into a tour bus. We were off the road for three days. We showed up at the venue two days later. We only missed, we didn't miss any shows. Yeah, we, missed we, missed missed three, one, we missed three days. Two missed shows. three days, missed two shows, but we got back on the road because we didn't have any gear. We show up and every all of our endorsees had brand new equipment oh, and they had shipped to the venue for us to use so yeah it looked like we were under the christmas tree opening up all these toys oh, and stuff great. but we the were, support we got from the other bands and they were happy to see you know obviously they saw us you know walking and alive kind of like a little bit of zombie action going on we were we were pretty out of it um, we went on to stage with bloody eyeballs and concussions and we, because we were i mean you get on a bus and you're basically in a tube and when you're in the bunk area and you hit rumble strips it's, there's a little bit of night terrors involved for a while. That's so why we bunk. sleep in the same bunk. You know, it's weird. You know, if we spoon like we do, right. <laughs> if you're packed in that tight, if you're, you're, that tight, you're not going to move. So we can roll. I mean, if I'm not sleeping times. next to Randy, I can't go to sleep. That's right. There you have it. It's one of our crazy tour stories. <laughs>